Tonight, frustrations are growing from LG, LGBTQ plus organizations over reports of pulled online resources for the community in Virginia. Alex Littlehales joins us in the studio, walking us through how the governor's administration is responding to these criticisms. Alex. Yeah, Janet, Dan, we talked to people in two LGBTQ plus advocacy organizations today. One of their biggest criticisms against the Youngkin administration is that they feel LGBTQ youth and medical professionals were not consulted over what they argue appears to be a quietly made change. Here are the details and what his office had to say about the recent reports. Support for Virginia's LGBTQ plus community is once again under the spotlight in Virginia. According to media outlets, the Virginia Mercury and the Washington Post links to LGBTQ youth resources are gone from their original locations on the state's Department of Health website. A spokesperson for the governor's office confirmed 13 News Now Friday, saying in a statement, quote, government should not facilitate anonymous conversations between adults and children without a parent's approval. Advocacy group Equality Virginia argued against Youngkin's stance, saying, quote, this is part of a pattern with this administration, where it's more important to appeal to an anti-LGBTQ plus political base rather than serve LGBTQ plus Virginians in any capacity. The LGBT Life Center located here in Hampton Roads says the removal of the links were made quote quietly. Well, I certainly respect and understand the governor's commitment to parental rights. I also understand that um, individuals have experiences sometimes when they're young and they don't have trusted adults they can go to. There's obviously a need for balance in my opinion. Michael Berlucci serves on the state's LGBTQ plus advisory board, but says his knowledge about the issue only comes from the media reports, not correspondence from the Department of Health or administration itself. The reports cite that an entire web page, not just individual links, was removed from VDH's site. Youngkin's office adding that the links in question were resources that don't belong on a quote taxpayer website. We have reached out and not received formal statements or follow-up information from the Department of Health at this time. I'm Alex Little-Hales for 13 News Now.